Hello, my viewers, and, um, here's a little bendy theory I made. Um, what if, um, the, like, Audrey, if you take the demon path, it brings the demon to, like, fully alive, because so far, the, like, the demon is inside. Like, Audrey is the one to have a dark revival for Bendy. Because, um, maybe some parts of the, the game, Bendy will appear to stop, um, Audrey from going to the good side. Because going to the good side would cause Bendy to, like, start to slowly disappear. Or, this could be taking place in Bendy and the Ink Machine itself, because it's not a prequel or a sequel, so it could be just the same timeline as Bendy and Ink Machine, but in a different place. Or, like they said, it could just be a new story overall. Which would cause reanimation and there to be a good Bendy. Which is what I'm getting to right now. There has been a lot of theories about this. Cartoon, there's a new Bendy that they released for Bendy and Dark Revival. It, they have it in action figure form, plush, and keychain form. And they never showed us any leaks to these two characters, Ink Bendy. Actually, you know, three, three characters from what we know of is going to be in there. Is um, Ink Bendy, Bendy, and Sammy Lawrence. We haven't seen anything from these three, but guess what? My theory is that Sammy Lawrence will be the one trying to bring the demon back to life. So, going to Audrey to try and negotiate with her to try and bring her to the dark side. While Alice will be there to actually make a guide us to the good side. To stay away from the ink demon. She literally said it herself. Um... And as for the Bendy, I'm hoping that he's an ally so he can be like a funny, goofy cartoon character. Now, I have a theory about the Butcher Gang. I have a theory that there is going to be good versions of the Butcher Gang. I already knew, know there's going to be four Butcher Gang members, but the original Butcher Gang. I'm pretty sure they might actually have, like, the good versions of them. It's been leaked a lot by the cartoon cutouts. There's been, we have never seen cartoon cutouts of the cartoon figures of the Butcher Gang before. But now we do, in being in a Dark Revival. All of a sudden, right when we see this new Bendy, as a car, like a cartoon version, that has a little bit of ink dripping off of him. So what I'm thinking is that this is going to be like a battle between um, Monster and, a, and Cartoon. If it is... This is going to be a good game. That's why I, that's why they're probably saying it's best if it was released as a full game, so we can understand this slowly as it goes on. And um, Ink Bendy, he might have a voice and might not, but I'm pretty sure he does based off the comic, Crack Up Comics, and um, that clip, because um, I have the Crack Up Comics book, comic book. And it shows that Bendy talks in it. We've never seen or heard Bendy talk. Until now. And we don't know what he sounds like. So for, And for a demon, that creepy voice sounds a little bit good for a demon. And the creator says something about a lunge attack for Bendy. I don't really have anything to think of this, but... What I can guess is that, I don't know how he's going to lunge at you, but I think he comes out of the ink puddles, and when he sees you, he can launch himself with the ink to dash forward and attack. And this is supposed to be a harder game, so... And I never... I What else makes me think the, um, the, bendy, the cartoon Bendy that we see as a, as a toy is going to be in the game... What makes me think that he's going to be an ally? He literally has his accessories for the action figure. He has a cutout. Doesn't really tell you much about being an ally. But the other thing he has is an axe. At least I think he does. 
I'm pretty sure he does. Actually, no, he has a he has a statue, I think. But still, would a evil bandy be carrying a cutout and a statue? What I think is that he was the one that was there for chapter one, um, scaring us with the cutouts by making them move around. You may think it was just Sammy, but it could have been Bendy as well. Because we've never seen that Bendy before. Also, in the um, audio logs, I don't know why no one's ever said something about this, but Thomas Connor said something about there being two different Bendys. Saying one about it's uh, like evil and all that, and then he's talking about another one saying it, something's unworthy about him. I don't know why no one's ever noticed that. Also, other people have seen this too. A little parts of the comic strips, it shows um, two different bendies, an ink bendy and a cartoony one, with a little bit of ink on the side of his head. So, what I'm thinking is that this cartoon bendy is the like what happens if you take the good side, and if you take the dark side, that bendy will become the ink bendy. So, this is me, Fidgety Attic, and I'll see you in the next one, and as always, have fun, play some games.